To publish a lesson, select Publish. You will be taken to the availability card in the Student Work card. If you selected Publish by mistake, simply select the cog icon and select Unpublish. Notice in the drop-down menu, you can also get a link for the lesson. For example, if you want students to access the lesson directly from their LMS. You can make the lesson available to all students by selecting Make Available to All. But what if you want to stagger the release of the published lesson by section? For example, we want to allow students in section A to see the lesson immediately, and those students in section B to see the lesson at a later date. Select section A. To make the lesson available straight away, you can select Make Available Now, or if you select Set Availability, you can leave the time to Make Available to Students as is. However, using the Set Availability option also allows you to set a time to automatically commit the lesson for students in this section. Once happy with your date and times, select Done. Repeat these steps for the remaining sections. We can now check the availability in Student View. Notice that the lesson is not seen in No Section and Section B, but is seen in Section A. What if you want to publish a group of lessons as a module and not individually? Navigate to the Modules card, select the module you want to publish and select Publish. You will be taken to the Student Work card where you will see the module and its associated lessons. If you accidentally publish the module, select the cog icon and select Unpublish. Here you can make all the lessons available immediately, though if you prefer, you can stagger the release of lessons within a module. In this case, we'll simply make all lessons available now. What if you've published a module but want to add a new lesson to the module? Navigate to the module of interest and select Edit Module. Select Add and choose the lessons you wish to add. Rearrange the lessons as you wish and decide if students must complete the lessons in this order, that is, if you will gate these lessons. Note that this requires a completion page in a lesson. Select Finish Editing. Notice the new icon and notification to update the module. To do so, select Published Module. You will be taken to the Student Work Cart where you need to select Update to Latest. You will now have to set availability for the newly added lessons. Importantly, if you update a lesson or module and republish it, those students who have already started will not see the updates. Their progress will need to be reset in order to see these updates. So be sure to only publish and make lessons available to students when they're ready.